I'm Michelle, I'm the Children's Librarian of the Sheridan County Public Library System, and I have a new book to share with you. This is called Rescuing Mrs. Birdley, Back to School Where She Belongs, and this is by Erin Reynolds, illustrated by Emma Reynolds. What happens when you see your teacher, but they're not in the classroom? That's what happens in this book. And here we go. Miranda Montgomery was an animal expert. She watched the Nature, Nature Joe animal show every single day. Nature Joe was wildly fantastic. He rescued animals of every size from lemurs to lions. Sometimes the animals got quite aggressive, but they were always happy once Nature Joe returned them to their natural habitat. So Miranda saw her teacher at the grocery store she knew just what to do. Mrs. Birdley didn't belong in the grocery store. She must have gotten loose from her classroom and wandered off. Mrs. Birdley wasn't getting aggressive yet, but Miranda was sure she would be much happier back in her natural habitat. Luckily, Miranda Montgomery had been preparing for this moment her entire life. Miranda had once seen Nature Joe dig a hole and line it with cozy pillows to rescue a sick Bengal tiger. She is working on it. But Mrs. Birdley was sly. She avoided the hole completely. Unfortunately, the deli man was not as, as sly. Oops. Miranda needed bait, and she knew the perfect bait to use. Blueberry yogurt. It was all Mrs. Birdley ever ate back in her natural habitat. Miranda knew lost creatures were sometimes skittish at first. But Mrs. Birdley couldn't resist the scent of fruity, low-calorie goodness. Is she going to catch her this time? Should I turn the page? Okay. Miranda sprung her trap, but Mrs. Birdley could move faster than Miranda had expected. Uh-oh, here comes the poor deli guy. On Nature Joe's small rodent special, he found a little lost weasel searching for food. He caught the weasel in a cage and took it to a meadow and set it free, and the weasel scampered happily away. Uh-oh. So Miranda knew firsthand that the key to catching a quick animal was slow and steady movements. While Mrs. Birdley was distracted by the alfalfa sprouts, Miranda made her move. Uh-oh. Should I turn the page? Okay. Miranda's teacher squealed the whole way back to school just like the little lost weasel. Miranda knew Mrs. Birdley would be much happier back where she belonged. She didn't look happy right now, but she was probably just shaken up from her little adventure. I think being rolled in the garbage can would do that. Being locked safe and sound in her classroom all weekend would settle her right down. Miranda Montgomery went home feeling wildly fantastic, just like Nature Joe until Sunday. That's when she saw her principal, Mr. Cranklestomp, in the home improvement store. There he was, just shuffling down the lawnmower aisle. Mr. Cranklestomp wasn't getting aggressive yet. Luckily, Miranda Montgomery had been preparing for this moment her entire life. And that's called Rescuing Mrs. Birdley. Now, in case you're not sure about this, probably your teachers are perfectly fine being outside the classroom. I'm so glad you joined me. You brighten my day. And yes, sometimes I'm in the ice cream aisle, but I'm okay. We'll see you next time. Bye.